Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you iOS 7 on the iPad. As you can see, it's turned on. We can slide to unlock, but before we do that, we have a couple new options. We have Notification Center right from the home screen, or lock screen rather. And then below, we have our arrow to slide up, which gives us our quick settings. So you can see there's a song, we have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, we can put it into Do Not Disturb, camera, those sort of things, all from the lock screen. We can also access the camera down here as well. Now this is a beta, so it's a little bit buggy. It's not ready for prime time yet, but you can see all the icons zoom in, and you can see how notifications look. Nothing really too dramatic here, but the folders are pretty neat. Everything kind of zooms back in. So if I tap here, tap on Netflix, you see it zooms in, tap on home, it zooms back out, zooms back out again. So it's pretty neat that way. The other thing they've changed, as you can see, is all the icons. Now you may either like these or not like these. I personally don't care for the new icons, but I do like the way everything works. So here is my website. It's going to refresh here. That was actually a sneak peek of a new design I'm working on. But you can see here, it's Grove case. I have some of the other Pure Gear reviews. And it doesn't look too much different other than if you notice right here as I slide up, it changes uh, with a transparency of what be, what's behind it. It has some graphic work going on there. If I hit the, oh, I forget how we do this. I think it's this button. No, that's our share button. There's one where we can add a tab. And we can go back to the different tabs. It doesn't quite work the same way as the iPhone. So we'll go back home. And let's go to settings. Settings looks very, uh, almost bland. It's just very, just text basically in a couple little icons. And there's not really a whole lot going on there. But you can see what the switches look like. My favorite thing is pretty much multitasking. So if we go home and then we double tap the home button here, you can see multitasking. If I want to close this, swipe to close. So it's pretty nice that way. Game Center looks a lot different as you can tell. There's no more green felt as they say. Open it up and wait for it here. So you can see it says how many games I have, friends, requests. If I tap on requests, we'll see what requests I have. It's a little bit slow as you can tell. So there's some friend requests. You can see everything just looks a little bit different. Clocks actually works now. It functions and moves in the background. So hopefully we'll see more of that with new icons. Music looks a lot different. In fact, it reminds me a lot of Zune uh, on, on Windows, which I actually really liked. And uh, although I don't necessarily like that Apple pretty much copied it here. So we have playlists, genius, songs. So you can see, get an idea what that looks like. You can see they've changed the FaceTime icon, just about every icon you can think of, like newsstand. I really don't like that icon. But you can see there's newsstand. I have a couple of car magazines. And then notes. So that's pretty much it as far as what it looks like. They did do some work where they took photos and kind of put them together for you into different uh, different events like they do on the Mac. So that's pretty nice. You can see this was a, a, a little guide I made, so it grouped them all together. Then there's shared and albums and collections. And you can see there's all these different collections. So I do like how it organizes the photos. But the icons are questionable. The whole interface... I'm not really sure if I like it that much. If I move it like this, you can see the background will move, just like the iPhone. So it gives you a sense of depth, which is kind of neat. But everything's really sluggish and in beta form right now. So you'll see there's calendar. Real plain and simple, but you get the idea of what's going on. And that's pretty much it. So there isn't a whole lot more to show you. Uh, they changed everything as far as the icons look, but it looks a lot better on the iPad, in my opinion, than on the iPhone. I'd be curious to hear what you have to say about the new iOS 7 on iPad. It'll be refined a little bit more as they come out with newer betas and then finally the final release. So let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.